And now we've gone from 1 in 25,000 with autism to 1 in 58. It'll soon be 1 in 3, CDC admits. And I thought about the cold-blooded will to hurt children. Because last night we were digging through some old trunks that were five, six, seven years old with my children. And I sat there and I looked at art they'd done when they were two, three, four, five years old, because they're 12, 11, and seven now. And I looked at those sweet little images of teddy bears they'd drawn and houses and pretty yellow suns and flowers, those beautiful souls. And I thought about the will to know you're putting cancer viruses in a vaccine, to know you're giving a child a hepatitis shot that destroys their liver, to know you're giving them a tetanus shot with hormones in it to sterilize them, once their female organs begin releasing key hormones, I have all the documents, the Gardasil shots, all of it, and it just was so overwhelming. My God, we're really facing pure evil. And I know I say that every day, but it just hit me so strong that I was a piece of filth, that I was a scumbag, that I was a sellout, that I wasn't doing enough to expose these people. I should be on the air every day with the vaccine inserts that it can give you type 1 diabetes. It can cause Guillain-Barre's and neurological disorders and genetic disorders and trigger autoimmune disorders. I mean, it's all there. They even tell you in a mesophysical rule, they've got to tell you what they're about to do to you. Who are these people? But more importantly, who are we? <laughs> because if we don't stand up to this, if we don't say no, we're aiding and abetting it. You know, I shot, only a couple hundred people have it. It's, it's bizarre we got it. A bunch of listeners requested it. People on Facebook, we have like 3 million likes on Facebook between our seven channels. One of them has like a million, basically. It's like 980-something thousand followers. And so we got this thing called Facebook mentions about a week ago. The algorithm kicked in and gave us that, like, Brad Pitt and The, and, and the Rock, and, and only a couple hundred people have it, like 200 people have it. And I was doing it. I did, like, four of them, and, like, each one got 200, 300, 400,000 views in, like, a couple hours. And I was sitting there thinking, I can just turn on something and talk to 300,000 people most folks will be on some ego power trip. I'm like, what do I do with this platform? That's why do not call in and tell me how great I am. Do not call in and say how much you appreciate me. Appreciate me. I'm fighting for survival. I'm not doing you a favor. Do you understand that? This is not special to fight evil. It's not special to stand up against it from my perspective. It's survival. They're injecting children with things called vaccines that aren't vaccines. They're social control to brain damage them and hurt them. My God, what type of elite do we have? And then they write books like Ecoscience and Bertrand Russell writes books from the 30s right through the 80s and the 90s bragging about it. These people think they're gods and they say the public doesn't care. We must have the right to do it. You see... At a spiritual intergalactic level, at an interstellar level, there are rules just written on the universe by God. And if you don't protest something, if you don't say no to it, then you are acquiescing and accepting it. And that's what I'm trying to get at here. Because all the things that are happening here are tertiary, and I've got a lot of news here, boy, let me tell you, to the real world that we have submitted to the point that these weird, creepy cult members are on TV. I played it last Friday, last Thursday, going, well, that's right, in California, got to, and in Florida, and in Texas, and in Missouri, and in Michigan, and in Illinois, and in New York. It was all these newscasts, all by the globalists, all written, all staged. We don't say boy and girl now, that's hurtful. And it's like weird teachers with weird big eyes going, we don't say boy and girl now, we do what we're told, we eat what we're told. I mean, it's a cult of flaming crazies. 
But they're not crazy. They've got a plan. They've taken over. They're ending the human species as we know it. It's War of the Worlds, folks. Whether these globalists came from a trillion miles away, or whether they came from another dimension, or whether they're people doing this, all I'm telling you is they're out to get us. And there's no mistake. It's diabolical. It's well-planned. It's scientific. And I don't know what I can say or do to get you to click to that, but I'm here to tell you it's real. And these people want to kill you and your family. Am I an enemy with some brainwashed cop out there writing tickets to fund this whole thing all day? The globalists are just there to raise taxes and things to bankrupt everybody. I got a report coming up on that. The Fed's plan to get rid of all small businesses, not even letting them have bank accounts. The cashless society is here. So when they get up and say you can't say the name mother or father or boy or girl, and you didn't build your business and two plus two equals five, and you think that's outrageous because you're not young. You're not 10 years old being taught all this. You were an earlier group, partially brainwashed, but not totally. You think it's ridiculous and funny. These aren't environmentalist wackos. These aren't liberal kooks. These are scientific entities of evil here to conquer and take over resources following a handbook, a directive, a battle plan, a program, a stratagem to take over. And we have their stratagem. And we are humanity that faced all the threats that came before us, that built civilization. But we must pass this great test to get off world and escape this system and become a type one civilization. But first we must transcend the parasites and the globalist. And the info war is only here to give you the idea of the opportunity to transcend. This is it, the desperate, weak attempt to rouse humanity. But all great movements start weak. They start with the heart and they grow. Humanity will prevail. We will go through great pain on the journey to the next level of our development. This great challenge that we now face will decide the destiny of humanity forever. The enemy hopes you never realize that. They hope to brain damage you at birth. You know the autistic children are those that were hit too hard. They're only meant to be stunned, slightly brain damaged. But some children are terminally brain damaged. Some die. Some of us still survive. Survive on to fight. And that's what we do now in the face of this onslaught. To the new viewers, to the new listeners, will you join us in this fight or will you cynically decide that even though you ran head on against the truth and it knocked you over into the ditch, you just dust yourself off and pretend like you never saw it. But the hair on the back of your neck is standing up. You know you've seen the truth. You know you've been visited by reality. You know that honor and strength is greater than evil. And so in this world, you would be warned, not just once, not twice, but a hundred times and then again, a hundred. I have before me incredible news. AFP on screens brain damaging children. Bernie Sanders leading Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire polls by nine points. The rise of political outsiders. The U.S. warns Russia against more aid to Assad as he fights Al Qaeda and ISIS. Britain wants to quit Europe. Shock new poll shows EU no camp ahead for the first time as Cameron prepares to face down Tory rebels. Wealthy Gulf nations are criticized for tepid response to Syrian refugees. They won't take their own refugees when they launch the attacks on these countries and expect the Christian West to take their Islamic refugees. Europe's biggest bank dares to ask, is the Fed preparing for a controlled demolition of the market? The head of the Chinese central banks, Zhu Zhaihong, has come out in Bloomberg News and says currency tension has now caused the bubble to burst. It's coming out that Steve Jobs was a nightmare totalitarian authoritarian who oppressed people and was evil 
Well, he doesn't let his children before he died play with iPads or iPhones, but he wants yours to. And he had deals with Foxcom in China for forced abortions and forced drugging and organ harvesting. <laughs> but he had kind of a mullet. And he wore T-shirts like Zuckerberg. So he was non-threatening. Because everyone knows if you're in a yellow Volkswagen wearing a gray suit and you're a 16-year-old girl, you get in it. Because it's a conspiracy theory to think there might be someone out there who wants to hurt you. Take the vaccines, eat the GMO. Take it all and accept it because the New World Order loves you and your family. We represent honor. We are willing to slam like battering rams up against the enemy. But our power is limited. You give us the power. You give us the will to run into the enemy at a trillion light years speed. And we're ready to do it. But you have to make the spiritual decision to break with Lucifer and the devil and the God of this world and the fraud that has control of this planet and join with the creator. You have to decide that Jehovah is what you want to follow and not the devil. And the moment you decide to join God, you will transcend the new world order forever. The devil pope. The communist servant of evil calls for world government, calls for the West to accept the giant Islamic hordes that the West itself has triggered to flee their countries through Saudi Arabian attacks to balkanize and create civil war in our nations. Do I hate the average Islamic person? Absolutely not. Are they good people on average? Absolutely. But there is a purge of good Muslims and a move run by the New World Order to put radicals in charge and bring them in with weapons to launch attacks in Europe and the United States, out of which a system of total control will rise. Can we show the footage I shot a month and a half ago in Rome of the 30-foot walls? and the security and the above the law, tax exempt, sovereign state of the Vatican, who now tells Catholics around the world that they should pay the money. All you'll do with the six and a half billion third world people wanting to get into the West, that's only 600 million. All you'll do by accepting them is cause more Thousands of deaths coming across the Mediterranean, more deaths, more robberies, more killing, more collapse as the military globalist takedown of the West launches the new war of the 21st century. It stands that you would be told the truth. It stands that you would be able to see the reality. It stands that you would be given the choice, but the enemy is out in the open, an arrogant, above the law, man that claims he has the keys to temporal and spiritual damnation, comes out crossing those keys when other popes have fought against abortion and communism. He crosses those keys and does he block the borag of abortion climbing across the city? No, he says Catholics should stop opposing abortion when he first got into power two years ago. And now he comes out and he says to the world on Thursday, you will be forgiven of your abortion. Have your abortion. No, you will be forgiven of your abortion if you repent and admit it was wrong. You will not be forgiven if you then accept it's okay and do it knowingly because some pontiff, some man claiming he's God on a black throne told you it was okay. He is the whore 
on which the Antichrist will ride. We are seeing it manifest.